put up huge numbers, and Tyreek Hill is out, and the Chiefs have 24 points. You think you got to win that. Four picks for Rivers. And after the game, El Tejon de Miel caught up with M.A. Jota Acosta after the win. Well, you know, at, at the end of the day, we just want to make a play. We've been in this situation so many times, and, you know, the other the other team's offense have the ball, and they, they drive the ball, and we, we never made the play. So I, I was proud of my guys today for, for coming up clutch and making that play. Knowing the implications that this could have had on the AFC West, what does it say about the way this team is rallying, especially the guys on the defensive side of the ball? Well, we knew this game count twice, um, you know, because this is a division game, quality opponent, um, can't take nothing away from them. You know, despite their record, got, got guys all over the place, uh, got a real leader and Phillip over there, so he can never take them lightly. Um, I was real proud of my team today, how we came out. Uh, it was some hiccups, but we, 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 we fought through it and we grinded through it and uh, we made some big plays when it mattered the most. They got the win. The Chiefs move into the number three spot in the AFC with that W sitting a half game up on the Raiders for first place in the AFC West. So, Kyle, you've talked about the Chiefs. Yep. You know, they've just had a little bit of defense and they'd have something great. They're averaging seven fewer points a game, though, this season with their offense. So, is this going to, uh, is this team going to make noise in the AFC? Let's put it that way. You know, I'm, I once wore a barrel on this program yeah, I because the, the Chiefs-Colts playoff game, I thought the Colts were going to win, and if they didn't, I'd wear a barrel. I wore a barrel because I didn't believe in the Chiefs. It's more that I believe in the Colts. I'm really tempted right now to go with the Raiders in the West. Really tempted. Just because I'm watching the Chiefs last night, they win, and credit to them. I just don't see them stopping Josh Jacobs right now. Like, someone who runs right at them. I don't know if they can do it. And I, I look at Phil Rivers throwing the ball all over the field last night. I don't think Derek Carr is doing that at this point in the season. Here's the deal. Chiefs going to a bye. The yes. Raiders play the Jets. I think they can beat the Jets. And then it's Raiders Chiefs head to head. And as much as we've hyped Mahomes and Tyreek and everything, I, I think I'm ready to jump ship. And I think the Raiders have the momentum and the young talent to take them out in the West. I think I'm in. Get the barrel ready, maybe. Lacquer that thing. Chargers were sloppy, but they had no problem moving the ball. And yet I come out of this game feeling more optimistic about the Chiefs' defense than I have in any week this season. I watch the Colts run the ball down their throats. I watch the Texans do the same. And then two weeks ago, I saw the Tennessee Titans put up a ton of points late and win the game. Last night, Daniel Sorensen made the play. We've been yeah. asking all along. Even last year, when the Chiefs had this great season, they lost to the Rams in a shootout. They lost to the, Charger, or in the, in the Chargers it, it, in a shootout. That's a terrible play by Rivers. It's a bad pass because Eckler's about a foot shorter than Sorensen. <laughs> what are you doing? But they made the play. Yeah. And, and I think Nate's going to talk about the other defensive piece last night. But I look at like this one here. They didn't make this play against the Patriots in a playoff game. They didn't make this play against the Rams on that Monday night shootout. And they certainly didn't make it all season long up to this point. So to me, Sorensen makes a play. I don't care who makes it. Someone make a right. play. Any other game this week, this season, any other game last season, they would have lost it. That play wouldn't have happened. Maybe that turns the tide and hmm. they pick off Derek Carr when Maybe. it matters most. Yeah, Phillip Rivers didn't throw four interceptions by accident. He threw four interceptions because he was short arm of footballs throughout the game because he felt pressure breathing down his neck. Now, I'm with you. Derek Carr is playing at a high level they right now. They got it going on, man. I, they got it going on, but if Derek Carr feels pressure just like Phillip Rivers did, they can make him uncomfortable in the pocket. And one of the reasons why Phillip was so uncomfortable last night, because Frank Clark was a beast. He was an absolute the best player in the game. terror. Five tackles, one sack, three QB hits, hits, which is my favorite stat for anybody that rushes, rushes the passer. He had a pass breakup, a forced fumble. My dude was making Phillip Rivers feel like he was in a phone booth. It was crazy is he had to earn this money. He signed that big, over $100 million contract this offseason. He had one sack in the nothing. early part of the year. He's been invisible. He's been invisible, mm -hmm. but he's turned it on. Over the past three games, got four sacks. So now all of a sudden, he's finding his rhythm. Yeah. And the reason there's four interceptions in this game is because the quarterback was uncomfortable. So in a game where the offense was good, just above, above average, good enough to win the game, the defense stepped up. And that's why I'm optimistic. This is a glass half full for the Chiefs. Are talking about the West or the whole AFC? Because now I feel like we're having to, you're, you're talking about them in Oakland. I want to talk about, no, I mean, they were sitting there in the three seed. So when you look at the playoffs against teams like the Patriots and the Ravens and even the Colts and Texans who have both beat Kansas City already, yeah. how does this offense, is it good enough to bail out the Chiefs if needed, if Frank Clark doesn't make the play, mm. if Sorensen doesn't make the play? Yeah, because there's still time. We're not we're not um, at the last game of the season. You know, we just got off talking about the Patriots and the offense just looks okay, but we're all convinced that they'll fix it, right? Mm -hmm. Because what? 
It's November and we have time. So how about we give that same type of train of thought to the Chiefs? They got time to correct Losing whatever Tyreek it is. last night was big. He yeah, was off for almost was the big. entire game. So if he comes back healthy in December or towards the playoffs, he's a difference maker, okay? And their offensive line obviously gets back Eric Fisher. It no got more. back Mitchell Schwartz. It got back uh, Laurent Davernay Tordif. Mm. They were there. They were protecting Mahomes. But Mahomes didn't have his best game last night, especially through the air, and yet made plays with his legs. They found ways. They got counter. Byron Pringle showed up again. Like, they find guys. It was Daryl Williams who ran the touchdown in. Like, I think they're deep enough, and Andy Reid's a good enough coach where their offense can muster enough points. And if the defense plays a little bit better than it's been, they can hang with the Ravens because they've beaten them already, and they can hang with the Patriots. I think the Ravens would just obliterate them. If they played right now? I just don't think the Ravens' running game, I think, would just run right through them. I really do. And I I think the Chargers would have, too, if they kept running. I just, I don't know if they have it. They ran 19 times. Phillip Rivers threw the ball 54 times. It made no sense. A play calling has to be in the discussion here. You're right. Josh Jacobs, Gruden's running him every chance he gets, and so would the Baltimore Ravens. That's an issue. You can run on this team. I do. I I think so. And I think also with the Raiders, like, their defense is very young, and I think it's getting better week after week and getting more confident week after week. Don't you think the Chiefs, like, two months ago, were doing power ranking segments. They're all the way in the top five. They're robust. And Holmes is going to win MVP again. I feel like the boom's off the rose a little bit. They're not playing terribly well right now, and I, I think they have a lot to prove. But as much as you guys say that, that they can get ran on, they shut down Melvin Gordon last night. They shut down Austin Eckler on the ground last night. This wasn't a blowout. I think the Chargers they wasn't, a, they wasn't ran, a blowout. They ran five yards a carry, Eckler and, and Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon, Gordon has 69 yards rushing. They, mm. they didn't run the Eckler ball is what I'm saying. Yards I'm rushing. talking about play. They didn't. Why yeah, they run the, the ball 19 times between the two of them? That's the issue. Yeah, that, play that, calling. The, the, yeah, you can blame the play calling, but it was a close enough game where they could have stuck to the run. They didn't the reason stop the, the Chargers didn't stick the to the run. They didn't stop the run. They didn't. They, well, tell me what they Melvin Gordon running. did in this game. They stopped. They, they didn't, stopped they running didn't because they couldn't the run ball. against this team. Oh, I don't. I didn't see that. How did you see it? I think the Chargers stopped Melvin Gordon personally. Yeah. And listen, that Titans thing that Peter brought up, Derrick Henry did anything he wanted against the Chiefs defense. It was a really sad statement on it, a unit that we think is getting better. I still think, Peter, you think Baltimore would not just run right through them? They played four weeks Never ago. Never mind five four weeks, weeks ago. ago. Baltimore's they changed a lot since then, Peter, and you know it. I think they're they think they're doing better. I would say this. They score a lot of points. Mahomes had his worst game last night, and they still and won. Still like won. Mahomes yeah. is still going to light up a defense. He's the ultimate X factor. So... I am not saying that the Ravens can't beat the Chiefs. I'm just saying if I had to pick them right now and the game's in Kansas City, I might take the Chiefs. And if the game's in Baltimore, I might take the Chiefs. Mm. Really? Yeah. Mm. Chiefs in okay. Oakland, how does that shake out? Chiefs in Oakland, I think Oakland, we're a little bit prisoners of the moment. Okay. Let's see how this thing goes. Woo, he is a moment. You talked about here. last night. It was this great statement about the Chiefs. <laughs> Do you not, you not think the Raiders have it going on? They've got it going on for sure. Definitely. I also think the Chiefs have had ownership on the Raiders the last five seasons, and that stuff starts to play in your head as well. <laughs> Morgan, games Morgan, in Kansas Paul. City, you know. On the way, I love this. <laughs> a lot of games are in Kansas City. You know what their record is at home? Uh, you're right. <laughs> we got to go put on our Chiefs jacket. Let's do it. Right <laughs> <laughs> Heating up at the